Welcome to Darun Yoga, everyone. Today we'll look at the Ekaparagalavasana. It's an arm balance from the third series, but we'll come into it in a slightly easier way from standing instead of from the tripod headstand as it's done in the Ashtanga way. Um, we'll look at it from different angles to help you see this. It is not the easiest of poses and requires open hips, but let's give it a try. Have fun. So we're coming just like into cappuccino with the right ankle on the left knee and lowering down your hips. Once your hips lower down, place the hands on the ground and you can see I am really wrapping that right foot around my left arm for stability. I'm lifting my hips high up and then one day taking the back leg up behind you. Chest is open, heart is open and then lowering down. Okay. You could see when I came up that the knee was also at the armpit. Slowly come up and try to release with control. Exits count. Transitions count. Here we go. Let's look at it this time from the side view. Um, so, again, finding your balance. Using your bandhas. Belly lifted, pelvic floor lifted. Keeping a focused mind. And slowly start to lower down with one ankle on the thigh. I have, again, the right ankle on the left thigh hips moving a little back and then now you can see a little better how I'm really trying to wrap the foot as high up as possible onto the arm. It does slide down, that's why I start high up, it does slide down but then it kind of wraps around the muscle to not fall down. The hips go high up and this is what allows the foot to follow high up. So the main thing is to try and bring the hips the up and over the arms, right? The arms are your legs, they're your support there what you're standing on and so you want to bring your center of gravity your hips over the arms and that's what's going to allow the ability to open the back leg um, far away straight behind you again i'm doing it on the other side chest is open you can see the hips are moving over the balancing the leg reaches back ah, this was very quick and short but no worries, I'll do it on the other side. And the main reason I'm switching side is so this time you can see the knee side. So I'm lowering down, placing the hands down, and the knee goes as high up into the armpit. We already saw the foot side earlier. Now as I shift weight, the knee does stay up in the armpit. You can see that the foot does slide down some, but try to keep the knee high up. And that's what's giving you the space to reach the back leg far up and behind you. When you come out, try to always come out slow and with control, maintaining the focus so it doesn't become a circus, so it remains yoga. That's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you share this with your friends. Hit like and even leave a comment. Any other ideas? See you soon. Love you guys.